Hi there, I'm Marvin from EduBirdie. I'm here to help you with writing a movie review. Have you picked your movie yet? If you're thinking about the one you've seen, you better rewatch it. To write a good movie review, you need to perceive a film very consciously, noticing the way it is constructed. Like if you're watching Call Me By Your Name. Some part of you may bathe in the emotions of your first love. Oh, I remember mine. While your mind should be set on analysis. Here, your eyes see the scene of your first kiss. Your brain is evaluating every frame, composition, dialogue structures, mainly answering the question, is it really one of the greatest love stories or just a masterful exploration of predatory behavior? Or maybe both. Yes, this implies having less usual pleasure. That's why I do not recommend picking your favorite film for the review. You may like it less afterwards. Also, instead of popcorn, take a notepad with you and write any thoughts or observations that come to mind. You may use them later or not, but it will help you stay concentrated. After watching the movie, we usually have a bulk of impressions that are very hard to modify into comprehensive text. Two things will help you with that. First, having the structure for your review. We'll get back to it. Second, having the questions that you keep in your head and try to answer while watching the film. So, what are the things you should concentrate on? Every movie is a story a team of people decided to tell us in some way. Why did they choose this certain plot, this period of time and this particular genre? For example, why did the famous director Yorgos Lanthimos choose to tell us about the royal court intrigues of 18th century's Great Britain? Care for a cup of tea? I mean, his film, The Favourite. Look at these costumes, interiors, historical locations. What is so relevant to modern viewers that it was worth spending millions on this story? Every film has ideas behind it. Christopher Nolan worked for five years on the script for Tenant, and for 10 years before that, he had been working on the film's main ideas. If you've seen the film, you'll know what I mean. No wonder it's hard to get what he meant. However, looking for concepts behind the story keeps your brain focused and leads you to write a good review. Try to separate the story itself from the way it's shot. Evaluate actors' and actresses' performance, costumes, music, special effects as tools used to tell the story. Note faulty or beautiful dialogues. So for example, my favourite quote is uh, Al Pacino in Scarface when he says, So good night to the bad guy. You need people like me. So good night to the bad guy. Or well, say hello to my little friend! <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little bit carried away. Sorry guys, I love films. <laughs> Don't forget, the film review needs your opinions. Be attentive to your emotions and thoughts. After watching the movie, you'll need to do some research. You can find basic data on IMDB or Wikipedia, like title, year and genre. Don't forget to look up location, plot, names of the director, script writer and lead actors. You may also check historical events that led to the film or title of the book if the film is based on it. It is good to know what prompted the making of the movie and was it an original scenario or a remake? Now. And 
for your paper. It is like a skeletal frame supporting your study and making writing a lot easier. Here's a sample structure. First part, introduction. Here you write down that general information about the picture you got in your research. Then feature the filmmaker. Just find the data on IMDb. Write about the kind of personality he or she is. What is his or her political stance? Background. You can talk about his or her other movies and connect them with the one under review. The second part is summary of the story. A short exposition of the movie plot, characters and their interaction. The main part of your review is your analysis. Here are some questions you may want to answer in this part. How do you understand the topic? For Titanic, it could have been forbidden love. No, no I'm sorry. Is it relevant to you? Are there any other resembling works? Is the content of the film significant to your course topic? Does the picture involve any social context? For example, Casablanca is 1940s values. Refugees escaping Nazi rule during World War II. What was the original idea of the film and how successful were the producers at the implementation? If you take Apocalypse Now, it might be a metaphor for a journey into the inner self. What was the climax of the film? In Parasite, it's probably the house party at the end, which I definitely would not want to be at. Was there anything special in other plot elements? Starting point, rising action. Which actor impressed you the most and why? My favourite is Al Pacino in The Irishman. Do you agree? Which actor could have been better for this part? What techniques of making the film can you spot? Um, like that de-aging in The Irishman. Pfft, astonishing! How? There are many other aspects to analyse. What is the mood of the movie? And why did they choose this one? How did the camera work help to tell the story? 1917 with its long uncut shots is a good example for this one. This way you may pay attention to any creative elements of the film. Lighting, music, costumes, makeup and special effects are all you may describe in your analytical part and go on to the next one. It is opinions. Your point of view should be supported by the examples and the facts from the story. If you can, compare it with the movies of the same genre, same topic or director. The final part, conclusion. Here you give your view about the movie with evidence revealed in the body. Was the filmmaker successful in their purpose? How was the film helpful in the deeper understanding of the topic? It's always nice if you can connect the conclusion with the introduction creatively. Now, make a pause to get a fresh outlook and go back to the final reading and editing of the review. Check it of course for spelling errors, grammar mistakes and the number of words required. Ensure sentences connect logically and watch the format used. Now you're done! I might not be nominated for an Oscar with this video, but I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, check out our blog for more educational content. Also, please press the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Now, I'm getting to the chopper. Chopper!